Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I am Bonecanoe86 and this is Civilization VI Gathering Storm, the latest expansion for Civ VI, which has just come out just yesterday as we go. Okay, well, I've decided that um, I'm going to be playing as Pachacuti of the Inca, and not only am I going to be playing a new person, but we are going to put all the new people in. Eleanor of Aquitaine, of course, comes in France and English versions, but we'll go with English. We have Dido of Phoenicia, Christina of the Swedes, Coupe of the Mori, kind of like the Polynesians from uh, Civ 5, Mansa Musa from Civ 4 making an appearance once again, um, Matthias Corvinus from Hungary, pretty sweet. And Suleiman from the Ottomans, of course. And we'll have to add one more person just so we can get the complete set. Wilfred Laurier of the Canadians. Yes, Canada making their first appearance in uh, in Civ officially. Of course, mods, plenty of mods to put them in, but this is the first time they've been here. We are going to play on Emperor because I like a little bit of a uh, challenge without being uh, too nuts. Um, and also, we have Disaster Intensity. I think that we're going to just bump it up to three, just for a little bit of fun. Everything else will remain standard. So without further ado, let's get going. All right. Yes, I am all prepared with coffee. It's going to be fun. It's been a while since I've done an old school type let's play on this channel and I figured now is time of life beneath water to the great beasts of the stone age to man taking his first we'll let him speak steps, here you have come far now begins your greatest quest from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars sweet Pachacuti son of the sun Pachacuti to a prosperous that's how you pronounce it among lofty peaks let the mountains be roads to you, and mighty walls to your enemies, for you grow in strength where others would starve. Oh, Saparinka, who shakes the earth, show strength and diligence, and your name will shine throughout all of history. Nice. Pretty cool. Well, the um, one thing about um, the Incas that they have is the terrace farm. You can build on hills, and it's basically like a... Um, it's uh, farms for your hills, and it gives you lots of food. Not only that, but it buffs the mountains that it touches. So that's really good. Speaking of mountains, you can also make a tunnel through the mountains. It's pretty sweet. We have our unique unit. It's all pretty good. So here we go. Okay. So here we are. And you might already notice that we have a little bit of an interesting... Uh, something interesting going on here. And if you go to the settler mode, you can see that this river is susceptible to flooding, which means that improvements might be destroyed, but it also fertilizes the land, making it even better. So that's uh, interesting. I don't want my capital to get flooded, so we're going to stay here. We have mountains. Of course, mountains are very important to our civilization. civilization has a so... Pretty good. All right, we're gonna open with a scout. This might be a dead end, but let's take a look. This volcano is quiet now, but it could erupt again. Uh oh. We're gonna have to keep our um, keep our eye on this volcano. It seems to be um, seems to be inactive right now, but uh, it might erupt, and it probably will. Especially given that we upped the uh, disaster. So we're going to have to be careful. And making a city in the area might be um, might be dangerous. Alright, here's the ocean. This is a really good area, though. There's also something else that you'll see very shortly along the coastline. When we get to a more flat area. Okay, ooh, another continent. What do we have here? Terra Australis, and we are on Asia America. 
All right, but yeah, <clears throat> this is a good choke point, but also a little dangerous with the um, volcano, but very scenic. Oh, hello, barbs. All right, let's see if we get an example of it now. No, not yet, but they did introduce um, climate change into this game, and it is possible that the sea level might rise and some tiles will be underwater. I haven't played, I have not yet played far enough into the game to see that happen, but we'll see. Of course, no CO2 is being generated right now because we are very far off from the industrial, um, industrial revolution. The event history, once things happen, they'll start appearing here. And as you can see, we already have a chance of storms, of floods, of droughts, volcanoes. So, it's going to be fun. It is going to be fun. I hope to find some city-states, get a little boost early on, maybe find a sieve or two. Hopefully they can be my friends and not, uh, not bastards. All right, oh, we have pretty good land. It's not going to be flooded. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's not fight him just yet. I'm going to wait until I get that um that buff, you know, that you get with the um the civic. Ooh. This would be a great campus. This would be a great campus. So let's see here. I want to remind myself. We'll we'll say um cuz this sieve is amazing for science. We're going to chop this. Chopping does have adverse effects, but I'm willing to I'm willing to take that hit because that's going to be a plus four campus. I mean, holy crap. How can you possibly pass up on such a thing? Ooh. We're growing fast. Yeah, we got we are ha we are lucky enough to have um, a really good tile here. But mm, do I want a monument? Do I want a or do I want a um, warrior first? Ooh. Let's let's risk this. If we were generating enough money, we might be able to um, buy a warrior if we need to. I'm living on the edge here, guys. Living on the edge. And as you can see, mountains now have names. Mountain ranges have names, and so do volcanoes, and so do rivers. We have the Ukayala Uka Uk, River, and over here we have the Putumayu River. And I'm pretty sure that these rivers are accurate to the area where the Incas originate in uh, South America. So that is pretty cool. Oh, man. I might have made the wrong choice here. All right, I think this encampment can be, oh, I, this encampment can be avoided. You know, it's really funny. If I could spare this warrior, what I'd do is sit him right here so he could never get out and he just gets murdered by this volcano eventually. Forget where I said I was going to put the campus. We're going to put it here. Holy crap. And we can actually put this campus here. Although if we put a, a terrace farm here, that's going to buff all of these mountains but I think I'd rather have a plus five campus. A plus five campus, man. You know what? If we put a city here, we can give him this tile for a campus. And if we put a city over here, we can have that tile. So I didn't need to delete that after all. I can already tell we have a very good shot at a uh, science victory just based on our terrain here. If we can just get through the early game without too much um, problems, which is easier said than done. We have the, Rangi the Rangipo Desert over here. A little bit, a uh, little bit hairy. Pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs. Treat us as equals. Exactly. I like that quote. All right. Um. 
I think whatever's up here is probably the biggest threat to us right now. Um, let's go for some pottery. And let's keep looking around. Ooh. If Delicate Arch has any significance, it lies, I will venture, in the power of the odd and unexpected to startle the set. I think that if I was a religious sieve, that would be fantastic. However, I am not going to even bother trying for a religion. Oh, hello, Mari. We'll find out where they are. It said it was going to give us information on the capital, but I see no such information forthcoming. Oh, well. Let's uh, get off on the right foot and send him a delegation already. Okay. I'm a little bit bummed about not finding any city-states yet. That is going to hamper us a little bit. Oh, hi, Sweden. Okay. we got to march back and hope this volcano does not decide to erupt while we're making our trip. The other good thing about... I think I'm going to put a tunnel. Speaking of good things about the Mari... And the Mari. The Incas. I'm going to put a tunnel right here so that in order to get down to this area, we don't have to walk by the volcano every time. I can put another, another tunnel here. Oh, here's another volcano, though. Well, the thing is, you know, you live in a mountainous area. You're going to get the benefits, but you're also going to get the challenges, you know. And having volcanoes is definitely quite a challenge. All right, what tiles are you working? I would rather you work that one. Yeah, we're going to micromanage just a bit here. I think we can... Uh, Get away with that. Let's tiptoe past this encampment. Yeah, sometimes we get really lucky with scouting. Sometimes we don't. And I don't think we're getting um, the benefits this time. But I think our starting location is good enough that it's going to balance that out. I do want a pantheon. I don't want a religion, but I want a pantheon, so we're going to put that in there. We don't really need the production buff because we have a lot of good um, project, uh, production tiles. Let's start with uh, foreign trade, get that going. Let's tiptoe past the volcano. Usually it'll have some sort of warning, like you'll see it become active. Oh, Sweden's right over here. I might want to expand this way before I expand this way, actually. Alright. Um, yeah, like I said, it's time to... Uh, time to get some warriors out to deal with this threat. I do wonder how much land is up here. This could be the end of the continent, or it could go on for a ways. We just don't know yet. All right. They already have two cities, so we're going to have to be uh, proactive. And yeah, I think I'm definitely going to be expanding down here. I mean, they're very close to us. And they don't like us, so... We're going to have to uh, to really ramp it up over here. Oh, Hello. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. Alright, there's that encampment. We have our buff now, so we'll be able to fight them without uh, too much... too much strife. Alright. Interesting land uh, we have down here. Hmm... We got some nice acoustic guitar music going on. I am thinking we're going to be putting a city possibly here. And uh, we're probably going to put one up here too. I don't know if I want it to be that close to the mountain. 
I think here actually we'll put a aqueduct there. Yeah, I like to I like to plot plan ahead. So we're gonna have a city right there too. I think we're gonna settle these two first though. We're gonna settle these, fortify them all to hell, and then we'll back expand into this area. But someone might be down there. We'll have to just play that by ear. But at any rate, we've reached the end of this episode. I want to keep these in nice little bite-sized 15-minute chunks. So we're going to end it here. And I'm very happy to be doing this. And I hope you join me for the next part. See you soon, guys.